Hello, uh, my name's Steve. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration today of content types, document templates, and SharePoint libraries. So what I'm going to start with here is a SharePoint document library, and it's got one document located inside it, which is simply a Word template document. You'll notice that the file extension is .x, D-O-T-X. Um, so that's created by opening Microsoft Word, creating uh, your, uh, adding in a, uh, your document, uh, editing your document, and then saving it as a um, a document template. So I've, I've simply done that and uploaded the file into the document library just to speed this demo up. Now the first thing we need to do once we uh, have our SharePoint site with the document library is enable content types. So to do that we click the cog, go to the library settings, and under library settings we need to go into the advanced settings option here, and we select this allow manage content types option which is def defaults to no. So I've done that already. The second thing that, that we need to do once we've created uh, enabled document content types is actually create a content type. So we do that by going into the site settings menu and under site settings we go into site content types, create a new content type from here, give the content type a name, so demo um, this one demo um, and what we're going to do then is we're going to add that to a let's look the parent which is going to be from document content types because we wanted to associate with a word document and then we'll just choose document as our, our base parent content type um, I've already created a um, custom group here called uh, demo which we'll use as well um, but you can create a group with any name you like generally your organization's name or your, maybe your team's name especially if you have a lot of content types to manage so once we've done that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to, uh, in the um, site content type, we have the ability to add in some additional fields. Um, I've created a drop-down list field which I'll add to here, and the reason I'm going to do that is I want to show how we can take metadata from the content type itself and inject that into the Word document template. So I'm going to add from existing site col columns. Uh, you could have, uh, you could of course create a new one in here, and I've got one in here. If we scroll down, called. Um, uh, doc drop down. So I'm going to add that one in. So what that means now is we have a content type. So whenever I add a document into the document library, it has an, op an optional metadata choice list called doc drop down. Drop doc drop down. Back over in my document library, uh, what I've done is I've added in a content type already called uh, demo content type. But what we'll do is we'll go and actually add in another content type from our list. And this one I'm going to go to um, here and choose demo and add that in. So that's our new content type. If I create a document from this content type now, it'll default to having a blank Word document. Um, so let's just demonstrate that quickly. So if we go into our document library and we choose the, ability, uh, choose the new option here, and I choose demo, which is my content type I just created, fire up uh, Word Online and creates a blank document, so nothing nothing much to see here. We've all um, seen that before. Uh, we'll click back to shared documents. Um, simple point being that that's just created a blank uh, Word document. Now, if I wanted to um, use a document template, uh, what I do is I create the template, the base template, and save it into my document library. When I do that, if I apply a content type to it, what it allows me to do is then um, use the metadata fields associated with that content type. So if I uh, right click on here and choose um, details for this item, you'll see it's got some properties down here. One of the properties is that it is a demo, its content type is demo content type. Let's switch that over to demo, which is my new one. Um, they actually have the same fields in this case, but um, we'll just do that. Oh, it's saying it's locked exclusively to me, so that failed miserably. Um, Let's ignore that for the moment. We'll just go back and we'll use the content, the, the other content type that I've created. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, download a copy of this template. But before we do that, I want to actually insert a field into it. So we're going to open in Word, in Words, which will open up the full desktop version of Word. And in here I've got um, the title field, which is the Word document title. And down the bottom I've got, um, I've inserted some of the default uh, Word um, uh fields, so I've got page one of one. What I'll do now is if I go to the quick parts menu, so under insert, uh, we have an option here called quick parts and document properties. 
Now, one thing you'll notice in here is that it has my doc drop down um, field. So this is pulling this metadata field through from the content type. Um, if you created a template outside of SharePoint, you wouldn't get this option. So I'm going to apply that to here. And what that'll do is inject the into the header of this document the value of the uh, doc drop down field. It's going to save this. What that's doing is saving that back to the SharePoint template copy here. So if I just give that a quick refresh, we'll see that that's just been updated a moment ago. And what I'm going to do now, right click on here again, and this time I'm just going to go download. And it's probably going to tell me that there's already a copy there. So let's uh, so we just downloaded our our template. If I go and look in my downloads folder um, on here, it's not there. Let's just try that again. Save. There we go. So we're just going to save a copy of that file. I'll just open up the downloads folder, and you can see that the template's in there. Now the reason I've done that is because of a little um, peculiarity around um, linking. Uh, the file to the content type versus downloading and attaching it. So if I ship, slip back into my content type, so this is in my, um, actually if I do it from here, from the document library, we'll click to the library settings, uh, and we're going to go down to, um, in the library settings, we're going to go down to um, uh, our um, content types down here, and I'm going to choose the demo content type. And then what I'm going to do here, under advanced settings, I'm going to select my downloaded template I'll browse for that um, this one here you can call, call this template any name you like it doesn't need to be template um, and then I'm gonna now click OK to that one so that what that's going to do is upload the new document template to my library uh, to my content type so I click back into my uh, document library we'll just do that Come over to here uh, and now if I click on to uh, the new option here choose demo this time what we'll get this time hopefully is a document with uh, some values in it now you'll see it's got a couple of fields showing here but they're not there's no values hidden in those if I click down into my document here we'll just a little bit of text this one here a demo doc um, and I'm going to click back into my shared documents now the reason why those fields are just showing the field names here rather than actually the values of those fields is because they don't actually have any values. So if we click onto here and we want to click into the detail of this document, right click, details, in our document panel on the side over here you'll see um, that it has a couple of fields. So it's got um, a title which doesn't have a value. So this is um, document for demo. Of CT content type and in my drop down value here um, it's gonna I'm gonna say that this if we do that again is a great document try that again I've clicked the wrong place there so I'm gonna say choose the great document option so that's updated the metadata on that particular item now if I go back into my document you should see do we have any, if all things being equal huh, it's going to make a liar of me it hasn't picked up those settings so let's just try one more give that one more try in fact let's just try this let's try editing this in word uh, the full version right click open in word That's my template that we're looking at here at the moment. So we should see the new document open in a second. And you'll see it's got the metadata added into the header of the document. Uh, I think it just takes a few moments for that to refresh. So if we save that back to SharePoint, um, obviously you can sort out the formatting and bits and pieces with the header. Uh, but now any new documents created in this library would automatically have this uh, template as their, um, as their default. So that's um, pretty easy. So the key things to remember, uh, what we've done today really is just creating a content type. So that's done through site settings uh, and in the content types area. Um, we've then added a document template. And the trick was to create the document template in the SharePoint library 
uh, in order to be able to use the metadata fields from the content type uh, via the word quick parts feature. I hope this demonstration has been uh, useful um, and I look forward to presenting something else soon. Thank you.